Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Um, there's a cat purring, so excuse that if you can hear it. Uh, we don't have an external mic port here, so I don't know if uh, you can hear it or not, but I'm just gonna mention that just in case, because I feel for this not having an external microphone to like connect to, it's got some damn good sound quality. I hear everything. I hear everything. Um, anyway, today we're gonna be going over like some current beauty favorites, not all makeup. We got some skincare or that kind of stuff here. Um, so, if you're interested in seeing all of our favorites for mm, right this now. time, yeah, <laughs> then just keep on watching. Okay, so I figure I never talk about my brow stuff. I did recently redo my brows. Um, like I cut off the tails a lot and I kind of reshaped them um, and I do like the way they're looking but either way these are the two brow pencils I've been using and they're completely different which is kind of funny so this one is from doll face beauty um, I got this we got this set from the brand I believe we got like mm -hmm. all their shades this is a warm brown which is just a little too warm for my brows but I'm wearing it today I don't think it looks bad or anything um, it's got it's like just a, like a tip. standard brow pencil yeah it's like a fat tip um, I don't know. It just works well for me. I just like the convenience of it. I really do like the spoolie on the back too. This thing is like, it's big. Good. I love a good spoolie on here. Um, and it just works. It stays in place. It doesn't like smudge everywhere. It's like creamy, but it's not like too creamy, too creamy. Like it doesn't rub around when I use my hand. Only with the spoolie does it work. So it's a pretty solid brow pencil if you're looking into it. And Dollface's drugstore. So it's like win-win. Um, and then I also have the Huda Beauty brow pencil. I do like the spoolie on this one as well. It's a little thinner, but it's like kind of harder almost. Kind of like the ABH one where it's harder, but this kind one's of. actually more of a spoolie where that one's a rock. Uh-huh. That one's like a little pebble. Um, but on the other side, you have a micro, micro, itty bitty tiny brow pencil. Um, what shade are you in? Like I'm going to be able to breathe that. Oh, medium brown, number five. Um, but this one is so much more like cooler toned and... The thing is, you have to be very careful. I just broke off a piece on my hand. You have to be very careful. It's so fine uh, that the tip will break off if you use a lot of pressure. Um, Any pressure, that. that's why I don't like it. <laughs> um, on me, it does work. I don't use a lot of it when I fill in my brows, uh, especially because I normally use got to be first. And so they get really, really rock hard and then I will have to press with this. So instead I just go in the blank areas where there's no hair and I just like slightly flick like so ever so lightly and so it'll fill them in but it makes them look super super natural uh, so I use this on days where I'm wearing a little more makeup and this one I'm wearing a little less makeup and feel like filling in my brows although I don't use either of these every time I do my makeup because I'm really not a brow girl <laughs> it bores me to tears um, I did recently hack off my brows you guys probably aren't like literally going to notice at all um, I just like spoolied them up and trimmed them and then I plucked them because I do want a little bit more like brow bone space um, and so that's what I wanted to do is just give them like an arch um, and I felt that when I wasn't wearing makeup that my face was droopy because of the shape of my eyebrows so when I'm not wearing makeup love the brows when I am wearing makeup I worst decision I've ever made in my life because that it's like the hairs are so short they can't stand up now yeah I thought they were too long so they would stand up better if they were short nar so this has been a favorite for many a moons, but now that I don't have to project pan a paint pot or any other eyeshadow primer at the I moment. I just really feel grateful for it. Yes. Um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer, $5. It's it's $2.99. Is it? Mm -hmm. oh. I'm pretty sure. It's like $5 at like Target and Ulta. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's cheaper than that. Whatever. It's cheap. It's cheap. And the absolute best eye primer on the planet now you only need a little bit don't build this you don't need to build it but like this is so good and if you have oily lids like you're gonna feel this is impressive some of you might be like that's literal like nothing literally nothing i can prime my eyelids with this and use a concealer on top of it and, and my crease. eyeshadow won't crease or Back. just a concealer on top of it with just like a you know, Fenty Diamond Bomb on the lid or something, and it won't crease. And I'm like, what is this magic? This is the most matte eye primer on the planet. It sucks the life right out of my eyelids. No oils are coming through, baby. It's the only part of my skin that um, that's just oily AF, but fire. Um, these aren't like new, I guess. Uh, 
I've been using my under eye corrector from Becca a lot more. I know Becca's going out of business, blah, 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 blah. But I do need to use it up. I was going to buy backups because I was really obsessed with it for a time. Um, but I, have, I haven't been using it because I've been using a more full coverage concealer. But now that I've switched to uh, this one from Undone, this is the Conceal to Reveal palette in Porcelain Light. Um, I really do like this, but I like it best in combination with this so that it has like the most sort of coverage but not cakiness because if you layer this too much I don't love the way it looks all the time um but this or either Glossier Stretch have been the only um coverage product I've been using on my face on the day-to-day -day just because I I work in childcare and it's like fluorescent lighting in there and it if I use something full coverage and worry about longevity and things like that it's going to look cakey on me no matter what and I prefer to avoid that uh so I just use a little bit of each and it's been like golden surprisingly enough my under eye corrector is in here as well now I managed to like I found out why I wasn't liking it as a blush and that is that I was only using this as blush if I layer this on top of another blush that is like I just want to tone it down a little bit and make it a little bit more like orangey color Peach, yeah. um yeah but it's like yeah like not coral yeah I just want to tone it down or change the undertone this looks bomb on the cheeks anytime that I've like done that I'm, I like can't stop looking at my glass cheeks I'm like holy shit dude mm -hmm. holy shit so um I haven't been using this on my under eyes if I can use it on my cheeks instead because I don't it's like fine on the under eyes but like it doesn't do enough for me to like want to go out of my way to do that step you know what I mean um and then I really I mean MAC face and body is still above this but I've already put that we've already talked your ear off about that um this Fenty uh skin tint um and I have the shade 10 um this I really am I love it so much I'm wearing it today I've had it on since like 8 this morning 8 30 maybe and I've been sweating uh I've smushed my face up against a couch today um my makeup still looks great like it's it's just very long wearing without but looking in a beautiful like way. a long wearing product mm -hmm. yeah i'm liking this a lot I'm i am liking this a lot i'm liking it a lot she's liking it a lot i am this probably won't come as a surprise if you've watched any of our videos and we've done the lip portion but the essentials palette from danessa myricks has just been it's been abused bro abused um i have also been using this a lot for bronzer again with the there's a hair in here again with the fluorescent lighting at work um my normal bronzers when I want something really warm to really warm up my skin when I'm wearing foundation um it looks bad in fluorescent lighting it looks like bronzer it looks like orange and while I do like that look on occasion I don't like it for the day-to-day -day, uh in front of other people who will be judging me because I'm the only one that wears makeup in my center so it's like I gotta look good okay if I'm going in uh so this I like to mix pretty much these lightest four colors right here um and I'll just do like the tiniest bit on my face and it warms it up in a way that's natural but also not orange not super it's red-ish but also not because I mix it with some of the grayish one so it just I don't know it's flawless it's a great neutral sort of bronzy tone on me mm -hmm. um and I love I just love this palette for lips though like if I'm going to recommend it for anything it's lips I love this deepest color on my I lips. love the gray I love the gray color on my lips this lightest color we literally both oh, use like every day for it. every day it is the best most comfortable formula and we're not a we're not people that use like potted lip products okay? yeah never never in a million years would we become those people but we have become those people so I just want to make that clear that this is a the best of the cream palettes that she offers in, in, in terms of it is usage and the best and that's my product she has but i would i would venture to guess that this is probably my favorite product from the brand pretty fire so i'm like eating my words um right now on this kosas concealer um <laughs> i was like it's just a concealer all concealers are the same nah. well I had just been testing it out and I hadn't been like using my other concealers and I used my Oma Beauty one which I still like I still like my concealers I used my LC one which I still like um this is much nicer <laughs> so yeah, I'm eating my words like sillier? yeah it's like s more serum like I don't know I don't know it was kind of like how I felt about that Estee Lauder Oh, the double wear concealer. What is it? The double wear concealer? I don't know. That shit was yeah. so good. I think that was. That shit was so good. The double shit. 
but um part of me could also be fooled by the color because i don't the the Oma Beauty one, I like the color of. The LC one is too dark. Um, it's like my skin tone, and so it's too dark for like any sort of under eye brightness. Um, but this one is so nice. The coverage level is like perfect. Like a highlight. Like, okay, listen to me here. Right. This is what I did today, because I did this like that reverse cat eye thing people have been doing. So I did like a little dot here. Like I did like a little triangle here and a little, you know, line there, like people do that I don't ever follow. Mm -hmm. um, I took, now listen to me here, an eyeshadow brush and was able to blend it out flawlessly. That's next level. How do people do that? I see like um, on Instagram people do that all the time. They just like use a little fluffy brush to blend in their concealer. How? All it does is leave lines. Mm -hmm. Alright, this concealer, I see why now. Maybe it depends on the concealer. I'm, I'm liking this a lot actually. I didn't uh, expect to. I have mine in the shade O2. Most of these favorites just aren't new at all because we're not buying new makeup right now. Yeah, I say is we've uploaded like 3,000 hauls, but I've been using my little Salt New York quad. I created a little quad for myself quite a bit. Um, I haven't been using the blush as much because this blush is just a very I specific love tone. Oh, I love this color. I just haven't been using this tone. I've actually been using uh, the Fenty Glow Cream Blush oh, almost every day. That makes sense. I mean it's natural. just been the perfect like natural sort of flush on my skin uh but i busted into my second contour spoiler on project pans and i've been using beige a lot as a highlighter because it's again so with the fluorescent lighting powder highlighters don't look great that is why i stopped using powder highlight i've started slowly becoming you a little bit in my preferences like i don't love a powder bronzer anymore um i can use a powder blush but only for very specific occasions and i kind of hate it every time i do um, yeah, anything to mattify my skin, I'm like, mm, but do I want that? Yeah. No. But I do love these little Salt New York palettes, and I love the little quad I created. Um, but contour, light bronze, and beige have been sort of my go-tos recently as well. Um, so, before I get into, like, all my lip gloss favorites, because I'm, like, having a love affair. Um, speaking of powder blush, I've been trying to make it a goal, because powder bronzer... I'm good. I don't give a fuck. All right, powder blush, I still want to try and use because I can't, I just refuse to believe it's over between us, you know? I refuse to believe it's over between us, even though we only own like four powder blushes. Like, now. yeah, we, like, I don't think it's, it's almost touched. nothing. Like we have our Olimar Cosmetics uh, medium blush trio because that was our shit. I actually or so use that at the long. Amount. And that's still my favorite powder blush formula at the moment, but I don't use it at all anymore. I don't think I've touched it in months. I use that one and the Wayne Goss one more than any, more than our other two powder blushes. I haven't used the Wayne Goss one either, but I also haven't been really going for a heavy blush look recently, so it just yeah. hasn't happened. Yeah, um, that's the issue, okay? We don't, we don't own a lot of powder blushes, and even though, like, they don't even mattify that much, the place where you want the most intense glow is right there, where the blush is going, or the place that I want the most intense glow, I don't know about you. Um, I did not because we don't powder. Okay, we kind of forgot about how we kind of forgot. It was. Yeah, um, the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. This has been like a staple in our our makeup for like a long time. We've had it for a while. We just haven't used it in a while. Yeah, because we don't we don't really need to set anymore. Anything. Yeah, because like there's no powder on our face. So I've been making it a point to set to use setting spray every day just, just to, use, to it use it. Um, and. God damn, I used, I hadn't like, normally I've got like a bunch of glowy products under um, the Fenty Easy, Ease, Easy Drop, the Fenty Ease Drop. Um, I didn't have a bunch of glowy stuff under, and not only that, but I used a powder blush and topped my cream bronzer with a powder bronzer this day. So I was feeling like way, it, was, it wasn't even matte. It was like definitely natural, but I was feeling matte as fuck. Like it was a hard pass for me. And I was like, all right, let me just drench my face in setting spray. Like, that works, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, I was, I looked like I hadn't powdered at all. This stuff is, like, magic. It's incredible. Like, truly. I'm pretty sure we said, like, all of these things, too, when we first started. Like, two started. years ago. Yeah, when we were, like, literally, like, But we're re-loving it. Crap. So, yeah. we're re-loving it. There's that. I would like a larger size, though. Um, so I've been having a very specific lip combo recently. This is like the most bold of a lip I've worn in a while. Um, but I've been using the nip, nips. <laughs> I love the nips. 
<laughs> the NYX lip liner in nude beige. I also like nude truffle, but nude beige is just slightly better for me, even though they're virtually the same color. I don't know how to explain it. But I've been um, using so nude beige. And then either Kim KW from Charlotte Tilbury or um is this the or nude is that nude Kate? Mm -hmm. Oh. Kim K or KKW or Nude Kate from Charlotte Tilbury. Nude Kate is a little more like yellow beige. And then uh, KKW is definitely like a peachy nude. And peachy this one, pink, yeah. uh, like a peachy pink nude. And this one uh, has a more matte formula than the other one, which is sort of newer to our collection. Um, but all of these I have been using pretty much every day. <laughs> interchangeably and I'll top it with just like a gloss or an oil or whatever just to give my lips some plumpness but when they, the the point I the point I'm trying to get with all this is they don't wear off weird which is why I haven't been going for a darker lip liner at work because they don't want to have that happen mm -hmm. where you can like obviously like you still have the overline my lips it. are obviously overlined but like now it looks worse <laughs> very unflattering so those have been awesome because the this lip liner I can just wear alone and it looks flawless. It's like a lip contour on me, so it's my perfect shade, definitely. Um, I have three glosses to talk about, and so we're just gonna chit chat, like a brief rundown on a couple of these. So, um, Ulta Plumped Up Pout. I just have to reiterate my love for this product. Um, because nobody seems to get it. Yeah, I just feel like nobody talks about it, and everybody keeps talking about, like, they'll be like, oh, this is the new crazy lip plumper. I'm like, but have you tried this? Because I need to know your thoughts on this before I can trust your thoughts on any other lip plumping gloss on the planet. This stuff is magical. I always have one in my purse. I always, I mean, I, I wear one almost every day, regardless if I'm wearing makeup or not. I love the feeling of it. It is absolute bee sting burn um like yeah so if you don't could, like could a possibly have tears in your eyes if you're sensitive so oh, so, so so fucking good like injections probably hurt less um and then i want to give a brief shout out do you guys remember our prismatic peach face from milani the um keep it full nourishing lip plumpers <laughs> well, um, it's back. these are what i would you know how whoa Sorry, Leo. You know how everybody like hypes up the gloss bomb from Fenty? This is what I wanted the gloss bomb to be, mm -hmm. is this formula. Um, it's such a nice color, such a nice formula. It's like, they have like one dash of mint in it, so it's like cooling on the lips. But not like plumping feeling. And the, the shimmer in it is so like fine, but it's like, so, but it, it reflects in the light perfectly. Mm. This is a good gloss. It really makes your lips look oh yeah fire flame incredible definitely not as like not a super thick gloss though so not it's not really long wearing but, um but less. does it give it also doesn't ruin the lipsticks underneath and that's important because some glosses do that mm -hmm. and i hate those glosses for existing mm -hmm. are the ones that separate when you drink water this one doesn't do that oh i hate when lipsticks maybelline do that Miss T's, I like you, but fuck you. And then I mentioned this just in a recent video, this Tower 28 gloss in um, Oat. Holy fuck, dude. People this are so kidding. comfortable. This is by far the best gloss I've ever tried in my life. Like in terms of just like a standard run the mill lip gloss, I I love heard the flower beauty ones are inexact dupe. They're not that much cheaper though. Oh. Okay. They're still like twelve dollars or something. Oh. People are annoying. <laughs> But, but still, I'd like to try them. Yeah, you know? yeah. We have too many glosses. I'm like literally reapplying gloss like a fiend so we can get through some. Me too. This is so good. The hype is real. I've never once put on a lip gloss that people hyped up and been like, yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. No. This one, they're right. They're fucking right. I'm gonna get the clear one now too. Ah, oh, stop. So, more to Nessa Myricks. These color fixes, we just talked about these in a recent video, but the color fix in Magnetic and Wild Orchid, the color fix creams. These things are so freaking good. They are the most vibrant and most, I feel like these are even more long wearing on me. Long wearing, they, they have more easy pigments. They blend a little easier. Even though I like the regular color fixes, these two specifically, I'm just blown away by. On my lower lash line, the other color fixes do like separate, they'll crease, um, which is fine. Like all of my lower lash line products crease. I'm used to that, but these don't. These stay put, which is like, insane wild and i love wild orchid as like a a liner color <sighs> i use this as a liner color too it's bomb. they're just the perfect deeper jewel tones with some shimmer to where they 
They give so much. They're mm -hmm. so vibrant, but they're so full of depth, and they also have that shimmer in They're almost oh, unique in that way. They're delectable. You can't find colors like that that show up like that on the eyes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You may not. I don't know why these are different, but they are, and I would urge you to try them. Um, That's the combo of my dreams. Yeah, I just have a mascara combo shout out. So I don't know if you can see just because we're on camera and kind of far away. Um, my eyelashes are long as fuck. <laughs> I don't know, but like, they touch my eyebrows. Um, thanks to these two. So, Milk Makeup Lash Primer. Baby, you know I love this. So good, so good, so good, so good. Dries down really crispy. Doesn't budge. Doesn't budge. So much um, volume, so much length. Oh yeah. That does, I feel, like, most of the work. I, I just, I know that the Kush brush is a little bit different for the actual mascara, but like, if this was black, like, I think I would really love it for mascara. Yeah. <laughs> I will film. say, though, I don't like that lash primer paired with more volumizing mascaras. No. Only lengthening mascaras. Plastic sort of separation wand goes best with that primer. I don't, I wouldn't say that in all cases, because I have had a really good experience with previous ones. Um, but the current one we have now, hard pass. Um, so that with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara just gives Match you makeup. dreamy lashes. They are so long, so fluttery, they don't move. They might give you like three little dots of transfer by the end of the day, but that's it. Like, it's pretty much budge proof. Um, the only really thing like is it. this fucking wiggly wand. It's hard to get it mm -hmm. through that lash primer. Um, yeah, it, like, I also do like the L'Oreal nice. Voluminous Butterfly I don't uh, in combination, anymore. but Rachel has not had good luck with that one anymore, so I'm not going to like mention it. On her, it like smudges everywhere on me. Flakes it everywhere, yeah. yeah. It's a mess, but um, I do like the way it looks on initial application. Um, that's all my makeup favorites. That's also all my makeup favorites. Oh, I love being twins. <laughs> um, so we'll jump into some skincare, body care, hair care, whatever. I've got a little bit more than you, so uh, I guess I'll go first. Um, I did talk about these in an empties briefly, but I have the Heritage Store Rose Water and Glycerin Hydrating Facial Mist and the Heritage Store Rose Water Toner. It's a moisturizing essence. This is my favorite. I like this because it's in a spray bottle. Um, so you put any like scented water in a spray bottle, I'm like, I'm game. Give it. Mario <laughs> Desk knew what they were doing with that spray. I know. Like, goddamn, I miss the green one. It smells so nice every day. Uh. <sighs> anyway, I really, I really do actually like these. I was considering buying the fresh. <laughs> I can't put crap. Oh, I thought you had to fart and you were wearing a thong or something. I don't. I just told you how much I hate them. I know. <laughs> um, but I was thinking about buying the um, fresh um, rose toner um, that has like the petals in it. And I was like, but these do the same thing for me. Like my face is hydrated AF using these. Like I just, I do notice a difference. And when I stop using them, I notice a difference, you know? So I do really like them. I think you should probably just pick up the rose water toner, but if you like a spray bottle, I mean, it is cute. whatever you want to do. I just, it know, also works as a nice fragrance for toddlers. So yeah. <laughs> also Charlotte's perfume. Is <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid. Um, this does wonders for my skin. I think I'm a little over halfway through this. Paula's Choice did reach out to us in regards to PR. That never came. So I don't know what that's about. They probably just decided. I don't, has it launched yet? It was supposed to launch in July. Oh. So it's past that time. So we may not getting, <laughs> we may not be getting anything, which is fine. But I do get annoyed when brands do that. It does turn me off from them a bit because like I just gave you my personal information. Yeah, like so my you address and give stuff. Give me this free product. So maybe don't like take the address and run. I mean, yeah, maybe don't like ghost me <laughs> because now you know where I live. Not that Paula would ever come personally beat my ass, I don't think, but you never know. <laughs> uh, either way, I do really like this toner and it has made me a little more interested in the brand. Um, yeah, it, it exfoliates my skin really well. I use this uh, three times a week, probably. Um, and yeah, I just do it right after I cleanse. I don't know why I do this, but I always do it on dry skin instead of damp skin right after I wash because I feel like it stings more and I kind of like that feeling. So I do know, you, it's in not comparison like, to the Ordinary one, is that one like far superior? This one is not as um, drying for my skin as the Ordinary one, gotcha. uh, but I do still like the Ordinary one well enough. I generally just use it on my body though because it's just so friggin' intense. 
Um, I'm pretty sure the ordinary one, that one's glycolic acid, so this one is a little bit different. Um, but I do find that it works very well for me and it does save my skin in times of crisis. So that's, uh, it's what I pray for. As been mentioned, um, Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Ultra Hydrating Body Butter. Now sold in Ulta. Get those points, baby. Oh. This one is in Be Giving. It's it's like a vanilla it's vanilla fig. Vanilla fig. Um, this smells like eggnog. Light eggnog. It's like light eggnog mixed with like just a little bit of floral. That's all. Like it sounds almost gross when you say that, but it's light eggnog with a little bit of floral. It's it's beautiful. This is I ordered I ordered two more. It's like this is a thirty six dollar body butter and I ordered two more. I've never even done that with a fucking bum bum cream. I love the scent because it is so mild. So like, I knew I made a good choice when I put oh, that in for for This is so good. I like I would I'm loving oh. this. I'm loving this so much. So um yeah I'm there's there's probably gonna be a lot of these in the next empties video. Like I'm really into this right now. It's like an it's obsession. It's so lightweight and like slippery and soft. And it rubs in well. But it, yeah, but it, it's not, it's not overly thick, but it, it is so hydrating, like ultra high. The only consistency wise I can compare it to, the closest thing in my mind, you know that Nivea, uh, that Nivea lotion in the blue pump, dark blue pump. Oh, you think it's that consistency? Not, no, oh. I don't. But that's the closest comparison I have in my mind where it's like, it's not super thick, like it's, it's pretty, it would be, it's like, it rubs in really easily, mm -hmm. really emollient like that, um, but it leaves your skin looking like glass sort of mm -hmm. thing. Uh, it has that sort of quality to it, um, but, but this one is a But little, it doesn't feel like that. Like, the Nivea one actually feels wet. Yeah, this and one this one it. just soaks in and makes you feel like a goddess. Ah, uh, wonderful. Can, five stars. Five stars. Well, small business shout out. Um, Etsy. This is Oils and Harmony. Um, I have two different scents. Um, these are basically perfumed oils. So I either add Vanilla Breeze is the one I use the most. So like if I, let's say I was using this lotion and I was like, I want to smell like a little bit more like vanilla. I could, I add this, like I'll add like one drop per scoop of, of this. Like this stuff smells, it's potent. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll use it like perfume where I'll just put like a couple dots, you know, everywhere. So this stuff is potent. This vanilla one, it's, I say this every time I get a new vanilla. It's the best. It's the best vanilla. I don't love the scent of vanilla. Or vanilla fragrance products. This one like is... I don't know. You would just have to smell it in person next to like a bum bum cream. Like you would have to filter through Ooh. all of them. Oh, it smells so good. It's, it Ooh. makes me feel like candy. Like I love nauseous. it. Yeah, Vic doesn't sweet. like it. I like Sorry. this one though. This is the one I like the least. Um, this one is my happy place. This is supposed to be an orange smelling one. Now I will say it, it says is a little strong. Orange ginger and Egyptian sandalwood. I think that um, ginger and Egyptian sandalwood is just a little too strong for me. I prefer more orange. Like I fresh like sweet. this one more mixed in with a body lotion, so it shears out the scent a little more. It kind of smells like those dried. Well, I guess I don't know if that's what the smells are, but like. Anytime you'd walk into someone's bathroom and they had like dried leaves in there, it would smell like this. <laughs> it smells like an orange grandmother. Yeah, like I don't know. It's like a little weird. Like if you went to a nursing home and this woman like grows fresh oranges and she only eats oranges, but she's like almost ninety. Like that's what she would smell that's like. That's probably what it would smell like. It's a little old person-y in some sort of long story short, it's a nice scent, but it does have its drawbacks. Yeah, it's nice. Um I love the packaging. I love Oh, yeah, I'm orange as fuck. I think you've been orange as fuck. Oh, all right. Well, I guess I'm orange as fuck. Um, <laughs> I really like the packaging and the scent, and it shipped immediately. They're only $10, and for how strong these are, it's going to last. Uh, like, one of these is, like, at minimum going to last you a year. Like, Assuming you use it like every freaking day. Yeah, um, these are nice as fuck. So I like consider getting like all the scents um, Just because I love everything about it and like you can put it in like your diffuser if you really want to like put it in your bath That's water a good idea. Like you could use it in diffusers. I would put it in my bath water if like I wasn't worried about pH. Oh, sure. Um, but like I really do love those. Um, Vic you can go next because now I just have hair. Okay. So I don't know if I've talked about this one. This is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. So um, bomb. I really, really like this. Um, I generally use it as a night cream and then all over my body. Um, I can use it during the day. My skin is dry enough to where it doesn't 
it's not too much for me. Um, but this does pill in combination with my sunscreen, so it's not the best option for that. The La Roche Posay one? Mm -hmm. It's never done that for me. Really? Uh -huh. Well, maybe it pills with my hyaluronic acid then. That's possible. Maybe it's that. Okay, I thought it was my sunscreen because that has caused issues before, but it might be my hyaluronic acid. Um, but it's so, so, so thick. Uh, but it's different than the moisturizing cream from CeraVe. It's a little more uh, slippy. The CeraVe one, we always talk about this. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's like a shiny matte. a matte finish. <laughs> this one's not. This one's glossy. It's yeah. like those NARS so matte lip balms. Yeah. Since we like to talk about things that make no sense. Yeah. Okay. So I like that a lot and I use it consistently. And also, it's a bang for your buck and it's great for your skin. So why not? Speaking of bang for your buck and good for your skin, Free an aquaphor. This is the tub of aquaphor. There's gonna be a tub that we in use. the in the empties. I'm almost done with mine. <laughs> I use aquaphor for everything. I every when I get out of the shower, I slather this all over my body on top of my lotion because I have been lotioning consistently. Period. Uh, it's great for tattoos. Um, I have a tattoo that I was picking at. This has been very helpful in phenom for cuticles. That. Great for cuticles, great for, I have a really fucked up thumb because like long story short, I like went a little too ham with a cuticle cutter one time and my thumbnail has never recovered since because I'm already nail biter, but now I'm like an extra nail picker. So this thumb just looks like complete horseshit. Yeah, like a uh, Freddy Krueger. Yeah, I, I literally is so awful. I normally will like keep a bandaid on it so I won't pick at it and like slathering this has helped it heal a little bit more. Um, and I, I have done better at like not biting my nails so it's been a little better in that regard, but like whatever. Were we gonna talk about those nail polishes? Yes, yeah, probably. Okay. Um, I have three, uh, I have three, <laughs> I have three hair care items um, here. They're all different things. First. I've been through quite a bit of this actually. This is the Olaplex hair oil. I really um, like it too. It's called the bonding oil. Which is wild for a hair oil. Yeah, I, it's something about this really is magical. Like it's like a thin oil. It's mm -hmm. like not as oily as other hair oils. I don't know. And I think maybe just the dr the dropper in here makes it so you can't get out too much product. Yeah, it only gives you like one drop at a time. Yeah, it's really, really nice. I've, I've loved it since before I chopped my hair off. I know you guys can take me with a grain of salt because I'm bald right now, but like, this is bomb, all right? I still have some hair, all right? I still take care of what I have. Now this that. is something that we need to mention far more. This is AFOG, Serious Care and Protection Two-Step Protein Treatment. Now, this is the most confusing product of all time, so stay with us. Yes, so it says, stops hair breakage, true. Rebuilds hair structure for six weeks, definitely sure. true. Ideal for processed or natural hair, sure. sure. Um, so basically what you have to do is you have to have shampooed hair. No conditioner, shampooed hair, shampooed hair, damp, damp. Towel dry it, don't like leave it in a towel for 30 minutes, literally just like spring the water out. That's mm -hmm. all you need. It doesn't, water you don't out. want it dripping. Put this all over your head, it's sticky as fuck. It's a mess, this is not a fun experience. It's but super, super liquidy too, so yeah. like clean up well. Yep, so like if you have like a toner bottle or something where you can like squeeze it on your head that way, that would be great, like that would help. Um, but it's very messy, it's super sticky. Now, once you get it all over your hair, and I, when I say that you need to coat, coat your ends in this, coat your ends in this, please. Any spot that you have breakage, um, any places you have overlap, so like if I bleach my hair, like, you know, the, the mids are gonna be like where I'm gonna snap first, because they've been bleached, um, like, three times at that point. <laughs> um, but, put this on, blow dry your hair. Blow dry it, be careful. Okay, be careful during this process. I just do this. I literally just like hold it and like blow dry it. This will seal, this will turn your hair into like, like paper mache. It's like crispy as fuck, dude. It's like caramelized onto your head. Mm -hmm. It's so crispy. It's so uncomfortable. Just hear me out, dude. It's so good. Rinse it, put conditioner in it, deep conditioner, and tell me you don't see an instant difference literal I like where has this been all my life Olaplex who this is I know it's different than Olaplex but like this does what we wanted Olaplex to do yes what we it's, thought Olaplex it is a protein treatment of. so if you don't have damaged hair don't use this all the time like this is something that you're going to want to do like once a month if you don't have damaged hair and then if you do have damaged hair like once every two weeks would be fine or once every but only for so long because 
over proteining your hair is like a bad idea anyway this is just really nice apparently like this is like a black woman staple twitter let me know when i let them know that i love this so much and i was like and they said they were hiding it for reparations so that makes sense and i forgive you but i did love that um then we have kenra dry volume burst instant soft hold instant soft hold volumizing spray nine times the volume on this bottle they're not lying okay my hair's not sprayed today i sprayed it yesterday um so i will have to just insert a picture and show you guys it was the, pretty much the exact same hair at the top um my hair cuts a little bit different but it was like the same thing i'll have to show you how much volume i was able to get with this stuff um you when my um hair lady uses it she just like sprays it and like messes with my hair what i do is i like section my hair a little bit and then i spray it right in like the like right above my root and it will just like poof that area up and it really does add volume. I've never found a volumizing like spray that, that actually, actually holds does. the volume instead of just makes your hair crispy. Yes, like I, it's crispy, but guess what? It holds. So mm -hmm. um, this is like next level, god tier. This is like one of the only things I'm probably ever gonna use on my pixie cut because it just works that well. And I like volume when I can't curl my damn hair. Then we just have nail polish to go over. This is the best nail polish formula. <laughs> Okay, so we don't have all the shades here. You're just gonna have to listen I to I have this. the mustard one in my room. Yeah, well, we're not gonna get it. So, um, Essie came out with a new line, and they're called Expressi. Expressi. Expressi, not Essie. Expressi. This is like a quick dry nail polish. Um, holy fuck, dude. It takes about five minutes to fully set down not you know with like a normal nail polish how it'll, it'll like be dry like, within two minutes but like not actually dry. it'll like dent when you touch it instead of like chip or flake it dents and it smudges a little bit even when it feels dry to the touch these don't do that they're they're very thin mm -hmm. and they're very easy to work with for that reason and all the colors are just beyond unique and gorgeous so like the nude i'm wearing today um on my nails this one this is like probably one of the best nudes i've ever put on my fingernails um i got this like I don't know, I like to call it um, mature hot pink. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got like a, a mint, mint color. That one time. And then a, it's like a light yellow. Yellow, yellow. And then this like lobby <gasps> purple. My shirt. Yeah, soft duckling. Is that what it's called? Oh, I was gonna cry. No. Busy bee line. Oh. Which is arguably not as good, but close. And then um, Taxi Hoppin' is a really pretty grungy, greeny kind of mustardy, mustardy green olive. It's definitely a mustard, but it has like a lot of olive in it too. Yeah, I don't know. I literally, without fail, every single time I have that on my nails, I get somebody asking me what nail polish it is. And I don't just mean online. Like, I mean in person too. Like, that color is a st stunner. Um, but that formula is phenom. Phenom. So I just wanted to mention it because I feel like nobody talks about nail polish and that is like a big win or probably just in the wrong community big win yeah that's true um jesus christ that was a long video thanks for sticking with us i'm like yeah let's uh say goodbye with the kitties i have vic's cat vic has mine but that's okay we share say goodbye bye, bye. see you in our next video <laughs> we love twin tutorials <laughs>